All right. So we had a little bit of stubborn energy there with, um, with the cards here. Um, but let's take a look here. So again, heart of the matter. Someone is bored, um, maybe not enthused, disappointed, um, wondering um, if there is a true soulmate connection out there for them. Um, going in a little deeper with the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, the Queen of Cups is someone that is very loving, very compassionate. Um, so maybe you're feeling like, um, you know, you are the one that's compassionate and giving in a particular situation and you're not receiving that back maybe. Okay, we'll clarify. I also see with the Empress here, um, this is rebirthing something new, a new beginning, a new project, um, a new start in a relationship, that sort of thing. So when I look at this, I feel like um, for most of you here, the vibe that I'm getting is that um, you're not getting something back that you're giving out. You're feeling like you are the giver in the situation and you're not receiving back what you're putting out and you're seeking something new. It, it's it's getting old real quick. You know, you feel like you've been giving, um, you've been waiting um, for something new, something fresh, um, reciprocity. Um, that is what I am seeing in the the overall energy at, at this point here the, in the present moment now what i'm seeing needs to happen here um, the best case scenario we do have the nine of cups here this is wish fulfillment okay so um, there is a need for you to follow your heart and to um you know obtain all of the things that you you hope for you wish for okay right alongside of that i see the ten of swords so there needs to be an end to something in order for you to obtain um, the things that you feel like would um, fulfill you in any type of way um, that is positive and suiting for you typically when we're talking about cups we're talking about love um, we'll go ahead and clarify though because i feel like for some of you this could be pertaining um to possibly um, a work situation, but for the collective, I feel like um, this is a love situation. Okay, but let let's just let's just take a look here. Please clarify the Four of Cups, please. What is the what is the energy? Why is this energy here, please? Why is this energy here? The Four of Cups, please clarify, Spirit. Four of Cups. All right. All right. So we have the King of Swords. This is Air Energy, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, I feel like um, with that being there, it's like enough is enough. Okay. Um, there is a situation here that just simply needs to be put in its place, come to an end in some way, shape, or form in your mind. Um, and then I also see the tower here. Yeah, so with these two here, it's just like the energy of being fed up. Um, the tower also symbolizes, um, you know, a, a foundation being broke down or shocking news coming. Um, I feel like this is, you know, speaking your truth. You really need to bring this foundation down. You need to shake some things up here because it's not naturally um, happening here. You know, I, I get the idea like you've been waiting for someone or something to change here and it's simply not happening. OK, so it's like really needing to be ambitious about going in and um, shaking things up here. Now, the tower could also um, speak about something naturally happening or a truth coming out. Um, the King of Swords also speaks about truth, um, you know, really being true to yourself, being ambitious in your own right, um, cutting things off that no longer serve you. So um, some of you may have already or will speak that truth and really bring this foundation down to a close here okay and i think this is where um this energy 
um, is at this point you're you're contemplating um, speaking your truth and um, that ultimately will create a tower moment here okay so let's take a look here um, please clarify the Empress for us sorry guys Please clarify the Empress. Because the Empress, although it can speak of, you know, wanting to, um, you know, birth something new, it could be a literal birth. You know, some of you might have been wanting to um, start a family and maybe um, this person that you're dealing with um, hasn't wanted that or you know um is dragging their feet okay so uh three of cups so this is when we're clarifying the empress um wanting to celebrate something new here okay wanting to celebrate something new okay so definitely have some energy of wanting to um let go of things that do not serve you and the positive, um, the outside energy here, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be someone that is around you that prefers to be single or lives as if they're single, all right? This could also be someone that is really focused on, you know, their career, bringing in the money. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is all about trial and error, having wisdom from that trial and error, really doing things to you know to really bring in some stability into her life and now that she is to this level she really doesn't need anyone because she has built so much on her own it's that she will choose if she wants to be with someone but this is someone that's typically um you know able to be very independent and operates on an independent level um, now I do see the eight of cups here. All right. So I feel like, um, you know, this person is going to cause you to eventually want to walk away or actually walk away here, um, walking away from this person and, um, head it towards something that brings you, um, you know, peace, freedom, and harmony. It's like, um, there is this energy of this person um, really operating as if they are independent or single. And maybe for some of you, this person you feel, um, you know, is walking away, is walking away from um, a union of harmony like they want to be free okay so they're walking away or you're suspecting that they're going to walk away from um this connection because they they would prefer to be single or they would prefer to be independent in a lot of things that they're doing here okay so again this is why i feel the energy of um you know just being disappointed or very bored um, I'm, I'm getting the sense that you feel alone, like you, you do a lot of things alone because this person is operating um, as single or independent. Now, what I do see here at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. So I get the vibe that you feel like you should be further along in this particular situation, okay? Um, the Seven of Pentacles is not quite the Ten. But it's taking that time to really look down at where where you at, how far you've come. And this could also speak about disappointment as well. So I feel like you just, you don't feel like there's much hope in this situation, okay? And again, this could be relationship and I really do feel like for the collective it is. But I also feel this as far as um, either career, um, money, something like that, okay? So what we see for the outcome okay the outcome is judgment all right so i see you guys really taking some assessment letting um, the past go because that's what the judgment does 
pulls everything up to the forefront and says, okay, let me take a look at this here. All right, that's got to go. That's got to go. You know, got to move on from that. And this turns the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune um, is, you know, an old cycle going out, a new cycle coming in in your favor. Okay, this is the um, change in your luck card. So because you assess and you cut out all of the things that no longer serve you, this is what happens. And then out pops the um, king of swords again. Okay, being ambitious. Okay, here you were um, ambitious, um, you know, and really um, speaking your truth and being ambitious towards the things that you want to accomplish. Okay, remember we talked about this and um, bringing this um, tower moment or within this tower moment speaking your truth being ambitious standing your ground that sort of thing we see that here again being very ambitious and standing your ground towards this new found um fortune so to speak coming in this this new positive um turn of events for you and then the page of cups okay so this is um communication this is love news so i feel like you do turn things around by really taking a close look of the events that left you unfulfilled and you know disappointed and some of you just completely bored and it's like you know what once you let go of the old um you are you're changing your luck here you know for the positive so let's go ahead and take a look at what the romance angels have to say about this particular situation all right because for co the collective this is a love reading okay all right it says attraction okay um you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully okay and right now you're not enjoying yourself or your life or your job or your you know your situation with this particular person so it's like you know um once you let go of the old and really really take full assessment that's where your luck changes and then you attract um the people and the situations that will better serve you okay all right so let's see what else we got here yep we have pay attention to the red flags okay um it says the signs are cautioning you all right so i think that you guys already know here um you know this outside energy of wanting to be independent and doing things as single um for some of you that this is a love situation you know you need to pay attention to that because you know that particular behavior says you know, I don't want to be in connection. I don't possibly want to be faithful. I don't want to build a family, that sort of thing. So sometimes people will be with you, so to speak, but really not be with you. They'll be around you. They'll do things with you and for you, but not fully. And that is speaking the fact that they don't see the connection in, in the way that you do. Okay. And you deserve better than that. So Pay attention to the red flags. Um, you did get the rel religious factors card here. Um, anytime this pops up, it doesn't necessarily mean that the two of you have, you know, religious backgrounds that differ. This could be someone being older or younger than you. Um, they could have a different take on how relationships should be based on how they grew up in their households um, but there is difference here there's something about this person that's like you guys are completely different okay and this is why this possibly is not working out now there's also the honeymoon card it says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together okay so this speaks of this new love that I see um, comes in for you. Okay, so I do see new love coming in for you, but not until you handle this particular situation um, For some of you that I feel like this is work related I feel like some of you are bored within your workspace Okay, and you need to walk away 
from um, this position because you're not doing what you love okay so there needs to be an ending here now the outside influence with the queen of pentacles and the eight of cups is more so like um, this could be a boss okay or this could be co-workers that are really about themselves they are doing things that only benefit them and and benefit them only it's like them building them um, accomplishing um, them doing you know all of the things that they're doing and there's no room for growth for you there it's all about what they're accomplishing okay and they're acting um, independent in here even though you might be putting in the work there's something about them maybe they are taking the um, recognition for things that are going on as a you know as a group or um, a partnership you know you might be working with them as a partner but they are taking the acknowledgement for you know what is going on here and then they just walk away with you know the recognition maybe even being higher paid that sort of thing and um, you know they are walking away and they are free here they are free they're walking away from being harmonious in in this work setting they just want to be free to do whatever they do even though you might be putting in some some time here and um some effort here you know there's just something here that they just want the recognition they want to work independently maybe they're not allowing you to put your input into any of the projects okay um, so either way, I do see um, you letting go of, of the old um, new positive um, situations coming forward. You stand in your ground being ambitious and then um, some new um, news coming in here. Um, for those of you work related, this could be something that you love to do or something that you've always thought that you love to do. And again, we talked about you needing to do things that fulfill you at, at a bigger level here. So let's also look at the wisdom of the oracle here. This will go ahead and sum up the outcome here. What is the advice or more insight on the outcome for cancer? I feel like this one wanted to come out. Oh God, there's another one in here. I tried to put it away, but there is another message here. Yep, knew it, knew it, knew it. Okay, <sighs> guys, sorry if I sound like I have low energy here. Um, it's just really, really hot. Um, I didn't want to put the fan on and drown out um, this reading. So um, sorry if I sound low energy but you did get the fork in the road card and you also got regeneration okay so let's go ahead and take a look at fork in the road first okay number 13 okay all right so here we go. It says that every choice has a consequence. You've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the one well-worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone circumstances and other people will not make it for you be present and do not avoid this junction for it is an important crossroad take heart as no matter which path you choose you will have a rich and meaningful experience okay yeah i feel like this is talking about this here assessing and deciding on what to keep and what to cut out remember you're going to be letting go of the past so yeah um, as the outcome, there is going to be a moment where you are in the fork of the road. It's like, hold on, wait a minute. Let me decide what I need to do here. Let me assess. Now, regeneration comes out. Okay, this is part two of the outcome. All right, so let's take a look at that here. Okay. Oh, 
Well, yep, it would help if I was on the right page, right guys? Okay, yes, regeneration. All right, it says that second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced with something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. Absolutely. So this talks about this here. Okay. This talks about the wheel of fortune. Remember, we said that things will start to move into your favor. Okay. So this is the rebirth. Okay. So this is a very beautiful reading. I feel like, um, you know, the moral of this story is just don't stay in situations that no longer serve you. I think that you guys know that it's time to leave the job. It's time to leave the relationship. Um, you know, there's just, it's just time. And hanging on to situations that no longer serve you just cause you additional um, heartbreak or additional disappointment. Um, lack that sort of thing and who really needs that or wants that okay so again um, you know you just want to make sure that you assess and assess well okay it's time to move forward and it's time to do a new thing